Hello everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers design team. And remember, by writing my name, Lori Mara, in the comment section of your next Shimmers order, you'll get a freebie. And I'm using, I was inspired by the May color kits. Now at the time of making this layout, I didn't have all the colors from the color kit. So what I did was that two of the colors I did have, which were She Packs a Punch and Mustard Seed. I didn't have Angel's Kiss, but I do have Snowstorm. Um, and I just try to play around with the colors from the, co from the May color kit as much as I could. Um, check out our blog, check out our group, Shimmers Paint Shares with a Z. Shimmers Paint sh Shares. I'll link it down below. There you can see all sorts of inspiration using the color kits, using any type of um, shimmer, uh, shimmer products, really. So what I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing different tones of yellow and um, magenta, light pink, sort of going along the lines of the colors from the color kit. And I'm just um, creating color squatches on some scrap piece of cardstock because I'm going to make some origami butterflies. Um, I try to keep like the this yellow is definitely mustard seed, which is part of the color kits, and the pink next to it, that light, light sort of like magenta-ish color, is from um, Paradise Punch. It's not She Packs the Punch, it's Paradise Punch, which is actually part of the, co the color kit. And yeah, I'm just creating color swatches. I'm going to set them aside to dry. I grab a pink light pink cardstock it's actually 22 pink by basil and i mark where i'm going to be placing my picture this picture was taken like two weeks ago and it went perfectly with um with the color scheme of this layout then without adding any gesso i grab um the mists. I grab um, mustard seed. I grab chickadee, which was from the April April color kit. Tuscan sun, and cotton candy, as well as snowstorm, and just start spraying them onto the layout, sort of in a like. I made a cloud in in a way that I don't cover the whole um, cardstock. Um, I just, you know, just created an area that was, that would get larger as you went towards the left side because I'm going to try and create like movement in my layout by, by how I place my butterflies. Now I'm cutting down the bigger scrap of cardstock into three by three, I mean three and a half by three and a half, three by three and two and a half. Um, I'll link the tutorial down below of how to make these origami um, butterflies. It's really easy. However, if you're using cardstock, you really need some muscle power to um, make them. And there they are. They're gorgeous. I love them. And they are bumpy. Like they add dimension to your layout without even having to add um, some craft foam of any sort. Um, but yeah. It, they're easier to make with patterned paper or maybe thinner paper. Cardstock, it was like, man, it's really hard to fold them. But I made it work. And then um, I grabbed four different punches um, that I had in my stash from, you know, butterflies punches. And I'm just, I just went to town punching out butterflies in different colors because I'm going to tie them all together. Now, I when I looked at it, it like this layout was true to the March color um the March shimmers challenge where we didn't use any patterned paper. 
except that I do add a piece of patterned paper beneath my picture as a mat, but everything else I just used cardstock, which is awesome. So here the background is almost dry, and I'm going to see what I mean about the um, arrangement of the butterflies. I want them to be like flying off the page from like if they were going from right to left in a diagonal um, a line. And yeah, I just tried to, what I did here, yeah, you see me marking, is where the, I'm marking where the origami butterflies are going to be because once my back, it's mostly dry, but I grabbed this stencil um, from Becky Booten and I grabbed the putting on the glyphs texture paste um, by shimmers and I'm just adding a couple of butterflies here and there around where I made the marks for the origami butterflies and what it does you won't see it it's it's it just dries like glittery but you do get that texture and yeah see I love how that turned out. I love it. So yeah, back to the layout. Here's where you see that I just add a piece of uh, patterned paper because to me it was like, it needs a bit of something. And I found this paper, I think it's from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection that had the perfect pink, a white area and a perfect yellow area so I was like yeah so I placed it so that I, you could get so that I got a bit of yellow a little a bit of a, slow down <laughs> a bit of pink and a bit of white around my picture I glue my picture actually I don't glue it just yet but I do add some craft foam beneath it I fiddle a bit around with the butterflies on how they're going to be placed because I really want to balance out balance out the colors between the yellow the um, that uh, other color that I chose was pink caviar anywho they'll be written down below in the description box plus if you click on the shimmers blog link you'll get all the specifics of the colors that I've used in this layout so once I have that done, I start to really commit. I start gluing things down, um, especially the butterflies and my picture. And then I wanted to add a bit of like messy factor um, by adding and messy factor and and texture by adding some bundled thread beneath some of the butterflies not all of them so I created like a little nest beneath the bigger punched out butterflies And these bigger butterflies, what I did was I added some craft foam to the tips of the wings. And um, just to like lift them up and create that sense of dimension and um, butterfly-iness. And then I didn't make you watch me glue all those tiny butterflies down and fiddle around with adding some craft foam beneath their tips. So I edited edit that chunk out. And here you have more like more or less the vibe that the layout is going to get. Um, I had that glittery spring figure in my stash. I don't know where I got it from, but it was the perfect color. So the title is going to be, I forgot, <laughs> let me, oh yeah, Happy Spring Day, and I'm using the pinkish figures 
um, from one of the Pink Paisley collections. And that little banner piece, chipboard banner piece, right beneath it is from, I think it's the All Good Things collection from Vicki Booten. I do have some wood veneer um, that are butterfly shaped, so I'm adding those in as well. And I color them a bit with some limoncello shimmers just to give them sort of like a yellowy tint. Um, and then I just, what do I, oh yeah, I do add some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. The packet is called Pink Promenade. And I'm just adding them here and there to give the layout a sense of fullness and sparkle and awesomeness. And I love how this layout turned out. It's it's a bit of a change for me because I'm usually with like bold colors and lots of colors, but here I just stuck to the overall color scheme from the Shimmers uh, Shimmers May Kit. Be sure to check those out. The usually the Shimmers kits color kits are they sell like hotcakes. So if you want to get your hands on one of them, like as soon as they release it, put a, a, like send in your order for them because they do sell out quick. I'm adding a couple of splatters of yellow, um, that's limoncello, just to keep on adding some more. And right beneath the title, I write the date and here come the close-ups. I love how this layout turned out. I hope I've inspired you to do some origami or punch out some butterflies. If anything, guys, I hope you check out the Shimmers Facebook group and check out the color kits. And yeah, I'll see you back soon with another process video.